everyone and welcome. This is Alex here. I'm advised by Alex and to find out much more about me and how to book a session with me, I will leave all that information in the description box below. But of course, you can always find me on my Etsy shop at Advice by Alex to book your very own personalized angel messages as well. Today is Sunday, August 6th. 2013. I want to thank you for stopping by and giving me a listen to. If you like this channel, I ask that you hit the subscribe button and the like button as well and the, also the little button that says all so that way you get all the future uploads of all my videos as well. And hopefully you guys are doing well and I do apologize for not being able to post a video last week. I was actually on vacation with my best friend and it was a magical time, um, very much needed and things like that. So absolutely fantastic. Um, wouldn't have changed a thing about the vacation and stuff like that. So Teddy decided to join us uh, for the session for today, although I'm going to have to put him down when I do uh, the clearing. but. And he's being all lovey-dovey this morning. He was missing me when I was away. Um, and things like that. So, that is absolutely fantastic. He likes, oh, the morning snuggles and stuff like that. So, um, so Teddy Bear is making an appearance. Yeah. Yeah, Teddy Bear. Yeah, uh, he's loving this as well, but I am too. But hopefully you guys are doing absolutely well. Um, I was on vacation in Pennsylvania and I also New York as well. So that was absolutely fantastic. We stayed in the cabin at the lake and things like that. So I'm having my morning coffee. So that is where we are at as well. Mmm. <coughs> This is one of my favorite cups. I would have done the uh, cup that I got on vacation because I always collect mugs when I am on vacation, but that was in the dishwasher uh, for this morning. So, uh, but I'm using one of my other favorite mugs, which is the office mug and things like that. So, and I love my gym. So that is absolutely fantastic. So that is amazing. So I was wanting that for a while and I was finally able to get it. So I was like extremely happy and stuff like that. So we are going to go ahead and grab the candle here for today and uh, ask that you also grab a candle as well. And let's get into the reading here and things like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. So, um, we are going to ask that we're surrounded in God's white light and the white light of the Holy Spirit. We ask that this candle send healing energy uh, to us and it be able to provide healing as well and help us to be able to um, help with any abundance or creativity that we are currently working on and um, help us to release anything that is no longer serving us for the greatest and higher good and help us come into alignment within ourselves for our the path that we have designed and for the greatest and higher good so it is amen so we'll put that aside and I love you Teddy but I'm gonna put you down okay All right, so we are going to start here with the clearing. All right, so here we go with the clearing and stuff like that. Oh, and I did want to mention that the music that we are currently listening to is Reiki music, healing, some meditation, nature sounds, 
emotional healing. And it popped up, and I was uh, very drawn to this one. So, very peaceful and beautiful this morning. Alright. So, we ask that all... We ask that any negative energy go into the white light of God for healing and transmutation. We only accept love, peace, joy, and happiness in our lives. And we ask um, anything that is no longer serving us to be cleared away for the greatest and higher good. And that no harm to none. We are going to put some energy around us and in clearing. We ask that our chakras are clear, balanced, and vibrating and spinning in the open direction or in the right direction. Hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and clear some of the cards here. Alright, so one final clearing, and then we'll get started with the reading for today. I know <laughs> it's a little bit longer already. It just feels really good with clearing the energy. It's feeling a bit stagnant in here, so... This is going to be the reading for August 6th to the 13th, 2023. Clear, clear, clear. Teddy, leave things alone, okay, honey? I 
swear, any piece of paper. Okay. So, what is the current energies that every Tony, you need to like get down, honey. <sighs> Okay. Okay. So what does everybody need to know for August 6th through the 13th, 2023? The 6th through the 13th, 2023. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Manifest. Honey, stop. Stop. You need to get down. My God, I swear, I love him, but he gets on my nerves sometimes. Okay, um, and like messing things up and things like that. So, the first card here is that we have is we have is take the lead. So, I feel like this is all about us going through a positive transformation. So I feel like this is helping us to be able to take the action that is needed to be ordered to move forward in the next steps on our journey. Uh, and whatever that is that you are uh, focusing on currently, you are being called to be the leader in the situation because you have the ability to make positive changes and things like that. So that is absolutely incredible. And seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, that passion, that a uh, sense of renewal um, and things like that and that inner spark that inner creativity and Archangel Gabrielle is really coming forward and helping us to um, really think of outside the box in order to make the changes that are necessary and things like that so that is fabulous so this was the extra card that came out which is the third eye which is that you're going to be receiving messages and downloads this week in order to make the change changes that are necessary and i feel like this is in regard to the full moon energy in aquarius and this is helping us to make the changes that we are needing in a positive light and things like that so and this is where we are also really needing to work on our third eye as i feel some of us are a bit blocked in being able to see the bigger picture um, and things like that so working on clearing that and helping us to be able to see things clearly is important and things like that so the next card here is that we have is manifest so this is all about co-creating in our world so remember uh god the universe source however you like to picture things um is where um we are the co-creators with source and the divine and we all have the ability to co-create our world so this is all about us working toward creating a better future for ourselves and things like that so uh, this card always makes me think of harry potter and the wands colliding and things like that with harry and Voldemort. so if you want to think of it in that aspect um you definitely can and things like that so um the next cards here is that we have is the crown chakra so it's important to be able to uh work on our crown chakra um connecting with the divine, uh, the people on the other side, and things like that um, as well. So this will help us gain clarity in the situations that we need to gain clarity in and things like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. So the next card here is that we have is listen. And this is all about listening to yourself, your inner voice, uh, the Jiminy Cricket, as many of us like to call it, and things like that. So. Um, you, you know what to do. I feel like our 
um, intuition is going to be expanding for this week and things like that. So that is absolutely fa fantastic and fabulous. So um, the next card here is that we have is success and growth. <laughs> and this is all about expansion, um, continued growth uh, for the areas that we are currently focusing focusing on. Um, I feel like this is also in regard to self-growth as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. So absolutely fantastic. Just a confirmation that we are going on the right path. So the next card here that we have is card number 11, Detach, which is, I feel like a lot of us are feeling a bit uh, detached from any outcome. I feel like we're not expecting things to improve. Um, and I feel like that's having that self-fulfilling prophecy of where things are not going to turn out the way that we want them to turn out. I feel like this is causing us to doubt within ourselves, having the lack of confidence within ourselves, and um, having that lack of motivation or self-esteem in order to be able to uh, move forward. And so it's that self-value, that self-worth, all those selves. <laughs> kind of things. Uh, so we're working on that this week to be able to um, not get in our heads so much about um, the outcome of things and allowing ourselves to just be going with the flow and being honest with ourselves about that journey and things like that. So sometimes it's hard to admit to our own selves that we are um, having issues and things like that, but uh, it's important to be honest so that way we can clear that energy and things like that. So, the overall card here is that we have is dedicated effort. So, I feel like uh, taking the action step, putting in the effort um, into moving toward um, that goal, um, that vision that we have for ourselves and things like that. So, that is absolutely fantastic and things like that. So, the next card here is that we have is believe and succeed. Uh, we have the ability uh, to make the changes, uh, having that self-confidence within ourselves. And Archangel Michael is protecting us on this journey. And this is a very much keep the faith card and things like that. So um, that is really an amazing, amazing card and things like that. So that is the cards for this round here. Let us go in here to the second one, which is... The Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine. And it is the second tarot, the heart was the first one by John Holland. I forgot to mention that. All right, so what does everybody need to know in regard to the weekly angelic message or uh, energy for August? Ooh. August 6th through the 13th, 2023. Uh, honey, you're being very destructive today. I don't know why, but you are. My gosh, Teddy. All right. We will have to give him some catnip so that he can calm down, as Taylor Swift would say. Okay, so what does everybody need to know for August 6th through the 13th, 2023? I can't believe this summer has gone by so quickly. Oh, we haven't had that card in a while. We got a lot of major arcana cards for this week. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we have here is so that we've had before is the nine the blah, 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 the knight of pentacles. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action. But then get going, pay attention to details, wait for perfect timing, a guardian angel, or someone you know who watches over you. So, um, this is all about 
us going back to the drawing board and seeing where we need to make the changes necessary in order to gain success for our future and things like that so this is going back to the drawing board looking at all the details seeing where we need to readjust uh, any uh, pattern or anything like that so that is where this card is talking about and things like that and the energy that is around this card for today and things so that is absolutely fantastic so we have a major arcana card here it is the awakening card and this almost reminds me of the hermit in the regular tarot a temporary pause for reflection and insight and awakening where you see things in a whole new light embrace your own uniqueness charitable action so i think we're going to see things from a different perspective the more that we go within and the more clarity that we have in regard to being able to move forward and things like that so that is absolutely fantastic and things like that so that is absolutely perfection so we're going to gain some downloads uh be prepared for some downloads for this week um and insight from the divine and things like that so that is absolutely fantastic so the next card here is that we have is another major arcana card and it is the dreamer so a new start trust yourself push your fears aside and take a leap of faith so this is all about pushing us toward whatever it is that we are wanting to move forward and to guide us down the journey so we're going to be dreaming about that new reality that we're creating and things like that so that is absolutely and amazing and so i love this card very powerful card uh to be able to have and to manifest into the 3d and things like that so absolutely perfection so the next tier is that we have is the page of pentacles scholarly de cheerful dependable mischievous time to get to work an excellent opportunity presents itself um happy news about your career promotions or scholarships a new area of study so i feel like we're going to be learning something new through this process and i feel like it could also be literally literally that some of us are going back to school i know a lot of the kiddos are going to be going back to school and things like that so um very shortly and i'm sure they're unhappy about it but um that is basically the gist in that regard so um that is there so um this is an amazing card and I love this card. So it's all about education. So the more that we educate ourselves, the more that we are able to move forward. Knowledge is power in my opinion. So next is that we have is the four of wands. So much to celebrate, sending gratitude to the divine and the angels for peace and prosperity coming to you, peace and contentment in your personal life. So this is all about um, allowing us to have the gratitude for what we, what we currently have so that way um we are appreciative of what we ha have and then in return the universe re will reward you uh for th new things coming into your life and things like that so i feel like this is all about happy times um and uh, blessings that are going to be coming into our lives and things like that so that is absolutely fantastic um in order to have that and things like that so the next card here is that we have is the overall we have is the knight of chalices trustworthy honorable devoted cautious someone you can completely trust a situation that is safe a solid romantic relationship hidden but well-intended emotions a charitable benefactor seeing a counselor so i feel like this is all about us having partnership with others turning to others for that support along our path um, of course, this could be taken into a romantic sense as well. So, whatever it is that you are uh, taking away from this reading is that you can take it in that light. And if you too would like to get your personalized reading, reading uh, for um, your own situation, you can always check out my web or my Etsy shop at Advice by Alex as well. So, here is what we have is just allowing ourselves to move forward. Uh, being able to trust not only ourselves but other people that are around us for that support and things like that 
So the last card here that we have is the Two of Chalices, Falling in Love or the Resurgence of Romantic Relationships, Forgiveness of the End of Challenges, Exchanging Gifts, Don't Give Up on People That You Love. So this is saying basically don't give up on any situation. Things are going to be happening. I'll be back in a jiffy. I do apologize for the interruption, everybody. So, um, that was, I'm trying to multitask here this morning a little bit. So I do apologize on my behalf. <laughs> so let us see what the lesson cards are for the week, uh, by James Van Prague. Hmm. So what does everybody need to know for this upcoming week? What does everybody need to know for, ooh, okay. I like that card. Okay, awesome. So, all good cards. So, we have the first card here that we have is Abundance. I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire into the physical reality, kind of what we've been talking about creating uh, the reality of our own world. We are the co-creators and things like that. And of course, this is could be actual abundance and things like that that is coming in uh, for this week as well. So that is absolutely a fantastic uh, start uh, for the week and things like that. So the next card here is that we have is patience. I accept that everything happens to divine order. So allowing ourselves to let go with the flow of things, allowing ourselves to have patience for the week and things like that. Not being so hard on ourselves when things don't turn out the way that we expect it to turn out. So letting go of those expectations that we set out um, and things like that. And just allowing the energy to flow, basically. So the last two cards here is that we have is one, service. I feel good when I can help others. So being a service for other people and uh, giving back to others and everything like that. So uh, giving back to your community and things like that. So and that can be a lesson in um, also gratitude as well. So gratitude for service for other people. So that is absolutely fa fabulous and along with that we have is the self-esteem card i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others so and the more that we do things for others the more that we also have that confidence within us that boosts our self-esteem and our self-value so that is absolutely fantastic and it can also lead toward abundance and things like that so that is absolutely fantastic and that brings us to the end of the reading for today and if you like this channel i ask that you hit the subscribe button and the like button as well and the more like that you hit the like button the more that we get into the youtube algorithm and things like that so and if you like this channel i ask that you hit the, that you hit the subscribe like share uh, button and if you you would like a personalized angel reading with, reading with me you can visit me on my etsy shop at advice by alex as well and until next time everybody god bless you angel blessings and i will talk with you very soon bye everybody